Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from xvidautomation.com and this is part 26 of our Coder UI video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about cross browser testing with Coder UI. So, before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 19 and part 25 since this part is going to be a continuation of those two parts. So, cross browser testing with Visual Studio. Cross browser testing libraries it does not ship with Visual Studio 2013 or 2010 out of the box. Rather, it should be downloaded as an extension from Visual Studio ex extensions and updates as shown below. So you can download the libraries of cross browser testing from the link below as you can see here or you can go to extensions and updates from Microsoft Visual Studio IDE and then from there you can download the cross browser testing libraries and these are called as Selenium components for Coder UI cross browser testing. So let me flip to Visual Studio quickly and show you how things work there. So this is my Visual Studio Coder UI testing project and this is the same project which we have been working so long from part 5 through part 25 right now. And let me go to tools and there's an option called extensions and updates. So if you click this, this will bring you a window called extensions and updates. Then go to online there and then search for Selenium components and you can see that I already searched that so it already pops up for me and then this will bring you up the Selenium components for Visual Studio by searching online. Alright you can see right now that this is the Selenium components for Coder UI cross browser testing and if you download this it will directly go you to a page to the link which I showed you on the slide the same same link so it goes there and then it will ask you to download a, a exe file which you can install in your machine so as you can see here currently it is downloading in my browser right now but I have already downloaded that so let me cancel this and show you quickly so this is the file which is downloaded from the website and you can directly go ahead and install this MSI file. So I have already installed this into my machine so I don't have to reinstall this again. So this is a very easy installation process. You don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to quit this as of now. Right? So once the installation is done you can restart this Visual Studio IDE so that the libraries will be reflected there. That's it. So this is a very plain and simple installation process which is available for enabling the cross browser testing option in your Visual Studio, which is nothing but installing these Selenium components for Coder UI testing for cross browser testing in your Visual Studio. Where does the Selenium components for Coder UI testing is actually sitting in your local machine? So actually, that's very important part. So where does this actually sits? So all the files of the Coder UI Visual Studio cross browser testing libraries sits under your C colon program files common files and there is something called Microsoft shared so you can open that and within that there is a folder called VSTT so if you go there you can see there is a folder called cross browser selenium component so this is the folder which actually has all our library files like Chrome driver. Remember if you have already worked with Selenium you always have to have this Chrome driver to open the Chrome browser. Similarly for Internet Explorer you will have an Internet Explorer driver but since the Visual Studio supports IE out of the box you don't have to have the Internet Explorer driver so that will be taken automatically. Similarly Firefox driver again you don't have to install if the Firefox is already installed in your exact program file location then that file which is nothing but the Firefox itself will be automatically taken from there so you don't have to install explicitly the driver for that but for Chrome you need to have the Chrome driver that's why the Chrome driver.exe is been installed here and there is something called cross browser zip utilities and there is a DLL file for Visual Studio dot testing tools dot UI testing dot extensions dot cross browser proxy dot DLL. Right? 
and you can see there are a lot of WebDrive back to Selenium for Selenium RC and a lot of other stuffs. So these are the library files available for your cross-browser Selenium components of cross-browser testing with Visual Studio. That's it. So once the installation is done, you can see all these files being popped, installed into this particular folder. Great. So working with cross-browser testing. So working with cross-browser testing and Coder UI testing is as simple as changing the current browser property of browser window class. That's it. So browser window class, we have exclusively have a separate video discussed on part 19 on how to work with different types of methods and properties with browser window class. So you can go ahead and watch that video. And we also touched a little bit about cross browser property there. So the cross browser property is the only property which will set the different types of browser for your testing. So let's see how things works in Visual Studio directly and see what I really mean in this slide. So this is the same project which we have been working so long. And you can see that the browser window dot launch method will automatically open our Internet Explorer browser and it works from there, whatever we have specified in the custom caller class or custom web method. So it works fine, right? We, we already know this. So what if I want to have a different browser? What if I want to specify I want to run the browser window as Firefox or Chrome? So where do I specify the drivers for that as you do in Selenium? So here, as I told, there is a property called browser window dot current browser. So you can see there is a property, right? And it says gets or sets the current browser from the list of registered browsers. So you cannot get an enumerator here specifying the registered browser dot Chrome or registered browser dot Firefox, something like that. There is no strongly typed enumerator available in Visual Studio as of now, but rather you can specify them in double quote itself. So again, it's kind of a very important thing that you specify with correct type. So right now I'm going to work with Chrome browser, right? So I'm going to specify Chrome here as my current browser. That's it. And if you specify the current browser here as, here as Chrome, your whole test will now on start to work with Chrome and it will not open Internet Explorer for that matter. Right? So now I'm just going to save this test. Now if I run this test, you can see the magic happens. I'm just going to run the selected test and you can see there is a pop-up window. I mean there is a window open here you can see that it's a chrome starting chrome driver right and it opened the chrome browser here and also it's trying to connect with the exit automation website and you can see that it's just opening and it entered the username there and it's going to hit the login button and also type the initial kk there amazingly super fast and this is what is the cross browser testing with visual studio that's it so you just change just one single property of code or UI testing and your whole test starts to run from there and you have not changed anywhere else. And that's the beauty of code or UI testing's cross browser testing. Similarly, if I want to run Firefox, I'm just going to set the Firefox there. That's it. I'm going to save it and then let me go here and run this same test. Now it should open Firefox browser for me. Right, so it has opened the Firefox for me. Uh, it's typing the URL and it's going to type the name and it's going to hit the login button there. All right, amazing. I type the initial. Great. So do you see that? It's super fast and it's amazingly doing the cross browser testing with Coder UI testing using Selenium components for cross browser testing with Coder UI. That's amazing. So this is the only change that you need to do in your code. But again, you will have some questions like how to work with XPath in code UI testing. Because in Selenium or any other tool for that matter, we rely a lot on XPath. 
we try to find an element using their export but here so far in our custom class you can see we have used the property like name or id right so these are the two properties which we use or we can also use tag instances tag name class name name etc but how to use xpath in visual studios code audio testing now how to use that for automating the web applications for the browsers like chrome and firefox so we'll discuss more about them in upcoming videos of this video series but as of now just keep this in mind that for enabling your test as a cross browser compatible you need to just install the Selenium components for code UI testing cross browser testing with Microsoft Visual Studio extensions and updates and then you have to change the property current browser to which browser you're going to specify that's it and you're ready to go that's it guys so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day